Alright guys, it's no news that SARS has been disbanded by the Nigerian police after the protests and SARS protests escalated and reached a climax last time. But right now, they've established SWAT, and which uh, they are already training personnel uh, for that particular operation across the nation. And a particular video of that was made viral on social media. Now, a lot of people are commenting on that, spreading that you know saying different kind of things about that and i will talk really about it on this um you know uh, this particular channel and in this particular video and also understand that um you know anti-social media bill is something that most northern governors they are pushing for which is being opposed by even some senators and most nigerians are not happy about it and then they've been talking about different things on social media because uh, some people believe that they are using this opportunity to want to quiet everybody on social media so that they can continue with their wrong doings and this i'll be talking about in this particular video but before i jump right in proper i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this youtube channel but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about as a people on social media A video of the SWAT training in Nigeria <laughs> was actually released and then made viral on social media, generated a lot of reactions, especially on Twitter, as a lot of people are criticizing and trying to compare uh, the SAS, Nigerian SWAT, um, you know, police to that of the, uh, the US SWAT, and you will see the difference. And that is something that a lot of people are talking about, saying that whether it's N, whether it's SAS or SWAT, they don't want, they want a total reform of the Nigerian police, and that is one thing that a lot of people have been you know trying to talk about but let me allow you to see the video <laughs> it is all not well at this particular time because i think uh, they should require more equipment, more advanced training than this because that which uh, you saw on that uh, video is a bit, um, you know, um, in a crude. That is something that I believe about that. But it has generated a lot of reactions. A lot of people are saying that, man, there's no difference between uh, the SARS police and the SWAT because of the level of uh, training and involvement. And I think uh, the Nigerian government, they need to actually really um look into this and find a lasting solution R uh, last time the u.s army came to nigeria to rescue their own that was kidnapped in the north and that means they don't even trust our nigerian security which has least performed over time and now the government need to actually focus on gaining the confidence of the people or restoring the confidence of the people on these um you know um uh, security agencies and doing this kind of training and putting it out there is something that will further you know destroy the little confidence they have already on the security architecture of this country let's see the difference between the u.s swat and the nigerian swat and you will get to understand
Guys, you have to actually understand from this point of view that, man, there is a kind of uh, gap between the U.S. and the uh, the Nigerian SWAT. That is something that a lot of people are now talking about in terms of the gadget equipment used in training these personnel and in terms of uh, the skills and in terms of... Um, you know professionalism you will understand that there is a great difference between the american swat and the nigerian swat and that is something that a lot of people say that you should fill in the gap and make it almost the same even if it's not the same but should be near the same that is what um, some people are saying and talking about but i want your comment uh in the comment section so that we can actually discuss about it further in our next video anti-social media bill is trending right now on social media say no to anti-social media bill has been trending on twitter since yesterday and a lot of people have been talking about it ever since desmond elliott came out to defend the anti-social media bill and right now the northern governors are pushing for these bills to be signed into law and nigerians are saying not at all and i think this is a time where we need to focus on security this is a time where we need to focus on economy this is a time where we need to focus on employment not on quieting the people from speaking their you know their minds yes the northern governors came together to actually say they are pushing for this bill and that is something that you know we all have been criticizing ever since on social media calling it um something that is actually bad for this larger society and some people have said that yes this will like silence the people from speaking the reality of what is happening in nigeria what are this so much focused on this uh, anti-social media bill uh, instead of uh, the economy instead of security instead of um, employment and instead of uh, generating revenues why are they so much focused on this that is what a lot of us are now talking about i want you to listen to the governors for major control mechanism and censorship of the social media's practice in nigeria Meanwhile, the governor of Kaduna State, Nasser El Rufai, says everything must be put in place to support the police. As a region, um, we support the police. We believe that guys, what can you actually make out of this? You will understand that. <laughs> It is a business for them. It means a lot to them. But Nigerians are saying that, yes, let's talk about security. Let's talk about, you know, employment. Let's talk about um, uh, revenue. Let's talk about economy. Instead of talking about this, let's talk about infrastructure. And that is something, um, you know, you all need to actually understand that these people are bent at, you know, pushing for this bill, sponsoring this bill across, you know, states houses of assemblies and then they are trying to push it to the national house assembly and somebody was able to talk against it at the senate house uh, colleagues i have a great respect for the senator and sponsor of this uh, bill i acknowledge his achievement in the area of information uh, technology However, in principle, I not only oppose this bill, I condemn it in its entirety. This bill is an attempt to surreptitiously introduce the sanction into our laws. Based on our Constitution Section 39, that guarantees freedom of information, and freedom of uh, speech. There is a Cyber Crime Act that deals with this uh, issue. There are also laws in the land that have to deal with uh, false information, libel, slander, and uh, peddling of uh, so-called 
fake news. Yes, fake news has done a lot in America and other advanced nations, but they have not brought any law to deal with uh, fake uh, news. For those who may think that this does not concern them, it's not their business, it will not get them. I'll counter his uh, quotation of uh, Frederick Bastiat. Martin Niemöller, 1946 Germany. They came for the socialists. I did not speak up because I'm not a socialist. They came for the communists. I did not speak up because I'm not a communist. They came for the trade unionists. I did not speak up because I'm not a trade unionist. They came for the Jews. I did not speak up because I'm not a Jew. Now they have come for me. There is nobody to speak for me. This bill is pure censorship. Has no business. Yes, but guys, what you should understand that when this is passed into law, it's not going to be easy for you know social media influencers and celebrities at this particular time, especially when commenting on um, you know governmental issue and policies, and that is a bit disturbing. You have to understand that even the countries we are copying their constitution to practice, like UK and the US, they never did that. Why is it so? much um, you know uh, meaningful to the Nigerian government that is something that a lot of people are talking about calling it draconic and then calling it harsh to the Nigerian polity and that is something we need to actually understand from this you know point of view but before I jump right off I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about as a people on social media.